in all my books, there is few topics that they, they are coming again and again. I think every writer uh, is obsessed by few topics. Um, mine is uh, the place of woman and, and feminism, if we can call it in a short way. Exile, not just exile by land exile, but interior exile as well, mind exile, and politics in general because I really do believe that, um, uh, like Aristoteles, that we are uh, the only uh, politic animals in the, in the, in the world. And uh, I think whether we want it or not, politics influence our life and is there. Uh, it's very funny for me when people, they said, I don't care about politics, I don't want to get involved in politics. But politics um, makes you uh, what you are and uh, whether you want or not, it's up in you. Then uh, a homeless and stateless people is just one sort of exile. Uh, but of course it's the most obvious one and it's the most uh, maybe sometimes terrible one because when you don't have any land, when you don't have any home and actually we are living the, the, the drama of, of Syria and, and, uh, and Libyan people and, and Iraqis and uh, you know, Afghanis. Uh, yes, it's, um, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned on this very much. Th that is because the, the main character, the colonel, uh, he's a real character. I met a colonel who, who had run away from Iran and uh, uh, his story is quite, quite similar. Of course, I put it in a, in a novel way, but uh, um, when he talked the first time about his love to, to, towards, for, for, for his wife, I was really puzzled. Um, and um, then I thought, okay, I definitely have to write something about him. In the beginning, I wanted just to write his story. But I wasn't really happy about just about his story. Then I thought, okay, as long as I had a lot of interviews also um, of um, Iranian that they have been in jail, I thought I should mix two stories together. And uh, the story of Vima, uh, it's a story of a lot of young women in Iran and elsewhere. But again, I didn't want to put it in a frame of Iran, because I think this drama is going on. It's, it has been going on all over the world and still going on in so many parts of the world, unfortunately. The, the story was inside me for about a year, let's say, a year and a half or something, but I didn't want to write it um, in a narrative way. Then as soon as I found that it should be two voices, then it came very, very quickly and the, the writing took me very little time, in fact. You know, as I used to say uh, always, and which is true really, um, my stories, I mean, the, my books, most of the time, um, be become, when the writing become a necessity I write, you know, then the, I have hundred stories in my, in, in, in my head. And, and some of them, they are very funny, they can be, you know, but they are not a necessity. They can be fun for me if I had time to do it. But when it becomes to necessity, then I'll start and I write. Until now, unfortunately, except one or two books, uh, this one, that it was, um, it was a command actually, you know, so, I mean, and few others, um, two or three um, of my novels are, uh, I've done it by um, because I needed some breath of heavy stories or, or story which which are drama mostly. But actually, I, I really write by necessity. The, the the book that I'm writing right now it's about ten years I'm working on it, and between I, I wrote some other books because it's very complicated. It's again a necessity. After that, I promised myself to give myself a little bit of time to write uh, the other idea I have in my mind and um, maybe light story and by the way uh, exercise of style I, I would love to write a, 
um, a crime, crime story, this kind of things. But I hope again it won't be another necessity, you know.